Hey guys, Wolf Hoffman from Accept here. I want to show you my brand new Framus signature guitar. Check it out. Yes! <sighs> Funny enough, it all started at my pool. I know this sounds kind of weird, but that's the truth. We were having a barbecue party at my house, and it's become a little bit of a tradition since. Um, that's how I met Hans-Peter Wilfer a few years ago. He was visiting Nashville for the NAMM show, and uh, you know, we were just hanging, talking music and life and guitars, and I knew they were making amazing instruments, uh, but there was nothing that I really wanted to play, because they're, you know, I've, I'm, I've been a flying V guy all my uh, all my life, except it's always been known for flying Vs and I wanted a flying V. So I said to Hans Peter, well, if you ever want me to play a, a Framus, you know, I'd love to do it, but it needs to be a flying V. So one thing led to another and two years later, here we are presenting it to the world. One of the nicest things about this guitar is, and it makes it very different from regular V's, is the fact that it's got a curved body, and so that makes it really comfortable, sort of like a Strat, and man, I love it. Sexy. Mwah. Here we have a titanium Floyd Rose bridge, made by Floyd Rose Upgrades. We have EMG pickups, and it's an 81 and an SA in the neck position. We've got ebony fingerboard with tiger stripe ebony block inlays, very cool, and my fancy signature. But I felt it was time for something new as well. I mean, I just wanted an upgraded look and something fresh, and uh, I had the idea to make it look like a World War II bomber. I mean, there's a name association of Flying V with Flying Fortress, and uh, that whole idea, and you know, it's a, it's a war machine. And uh, so I thought, if they can make a guitar look like a World War II bomber, that would be amazing. And if anybody can, it's, it's Framus. So they did this just killer job, painted this wooden body to make it look like uh, aluminum. You know, we have the, the decal lady on here and we've got real rivets that actually you can feel and touch. So, you know, this is as close as it gets to the real thing. I love it. 